Hey folks, it's Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. And this is a, a thank you to a very nice guy named Michael Escobar who actually sent me a few films. Not really an unpackaging video because I pretty much knew what was going to be in it. Plus when I opened the package, uh, there was a lot of that little foam stuff and um, it was like getting everywhere and just you know, taking too much time unfortunately. Um, that's my own fault for not knowing how to deal with foam. The little, I don't know what you call that thing. But he sent me three films, which is very nice of him. He sent me The Last House on the Left, the remake, which is very nice of him. Uh, one Day, Not Anytime Soon. I know my friend Mike, OCP, is doing a great job on the West Craven retrospective. He's going through each of his films, reviewing them all. He did a great job on the first Elm Street movie. Uh, one Day Down the Road. Again, not anytime soon. I don't even have any plans for October. I just kind of want to relax and, I don't know, I'll think of something, but I don't want to really make any plans. But to have the remake, I want to get the original sometime on the newer DVD Blu-ray because I have the old DVD and I like to get the newer DVD or the one that has a bunch of the features where like David Hess and Wes Craven and such. Um, but it's great to have the remake because I haven't seen this since the film first came out and then whenever I review that I will review this and I do remember when I first saw it I remember liking this more than the original I will admit that because I'm, I'm, I remember not being a big fan of the original because I didn't care for the humor the stupid comedy with the Mark Cove and the sheriff being picked up by a woman who's having chickens I remember this being like better in tone or the tone was like the same throughout the whole movie then just go like this but uh, I'll give this another watch when the time comes and give you my thoughts on it he also sent me a film that unfortunately I already had on DVD but this was still nice because this is a blu-ray and DVD I did not have this on blu-ray and that's as above so below which I know is a very hated film. Um, the only person I know who liked it was my friend Mike, OCP. And uh, I really enjoy this film. I like it. Yes, it's found footage, but it does not have... It sounded southern. It did not have... It doesn't have the same stupid ending where everyone dies. Um, so right, right there is not the same as found footage because that ending is not typical. And I like the idea that it took place in the catacombs under Paris. That was a cool location. The characters, I've seen much worse. And I like the story. People dealing with their personal demons. The personal demons kind of being thrown back to them. Is it original? No. But I liked it. So. Is it better than like Event Horizon? No. But I liked it for what it was. And uh, I have no apologies for that. I really enjoyed the film. And uh, one day I'll review it. Not anytime soon, but one day I will. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't get the hate for it. I mean, I would watch this any day over any of those fucking Paranormal Activity movies. To me, there's much more here to the story. I think the story's more interesting. And I think it doesn't have the stupid ending that those films do. And then he had sent me a film that I'd heard of. Yeah, I mentioned it was a Dana Radcliffe film, and I guessed it was this. It was either going to be this or Woman in Black, and instead it was this. Horns, which I had heard about with Dana Radcliffe. The interesting thing is directed by Alexander Aja, the guy who did the Hills of Ice remake. This also has James Remar, Kathleen Quinlan, Heather Graham, and David Morse. So, interesting supporting cast, and a very interesting director. I'm not a Daniel Radcliffe fan, but I will give this a fair look. It's a two hour movie and has a making of. And uh, yeah, I will give this a look. Horns. Yeah, and the thing that it does intrigue me is that it's directed by Alexander Aja, and it is an R rated film. Sexual content, some graphic nudity, disturbing violence, including a sexual assault, language, and drug use. Okay, then. Sounds like a party. Um, 
So he sent me these three, which were very nice of him to do so. He didn't have to do that, but it was very nice of him. Um, a remake that I was curious to watch again, and now I can. A film that Grant and I had, but I do it now have, if I learn how to talk, now I have it on Blu-ray, thanks to him. It was very nice. Now I have that on Blu-ray. And a film that I will be curious to look at now, because I like the director. I didn't even mind Mirrors, which I know a lot of people hate Mirrors, but I didn't mind Mirrors. I think it's best as the Hills of Eyes remake. And uh, Piranha, there's some fun gore, but it's one of my least favorite films, to be honest. And uh, High Tension, I hate the ending of High Tension. I thought the ending was bullshit, but... On another note, for those wondering what's next, there will be a DVD Blu-ray update. Uh, then I want to finish off the reviews that Tony, for the films that Tony sent me, which are The Faculty, Hollow Man, and some others. And then there's a podcast I did about the IMDb files in 1993 that I actually did with my friend Mike, which those will be in a couple parts just to make it easier for you guys to listen to. Like 20, 30 minute parts. And uh, after that, I have a bunch of other stuff I want to get to. I want to review the Blu-ray of Shocker, watch that sometime, and some others. On a quick note today, I just got this in the mail, which my friend Mike has sent me the sequel book to this, so I decided to go online, and this was $4 with shipping and hailing, so it's $4. It was like, what was it, like one or two pennies, or like five pennies, but then $4 to ship it. But uh, I figure since my you know, my friend might send me the sequel, and then I got other Joe Bob books, why not get the first one, which has an introduction by Stephen King, Joe Bob Goes to the Drive-In, which are very... Joe Bob's Best of 83, number one, Screwballs, uh, Wavelength is on there, Losing It, 1990 The Bronx Warriors, 10 to Midnight, Best Chuck Bronson Sweeps the Sum, Thing meant scum off the street flick. Best child, best child brought sweep the sum off the street flick. Sweep the sum, you know. I think he meant scum. Yeah, we're not perfect, but this will be fun to. This will be fun to watch. Not watch. Be fun to read. Definitely fun to read. But yeah, Joe Bob goes to the driving. Again, intro by Stephen King. So all right, thank you once again, Michael Escobar. Very nice of you to do that. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay tuned for a DVD Blu-ray update, and then stay tuned for more videos. Later.